2024 is one of the most vital years in American history. The progressive left wants a socialist nation. They want strong federal government in Washington to tell all of us what we can and cannot have. The way you get that is by passing a so-called wealth tax, where the government comes in to your life and evaluates everything that you have, takes a piece, even after you've paid your income tax and every other tax they slap on you. And not only do they take a piece of what you have, they take a piece of what you've gained on paper. So if you bought Apple at a low price and now you hold it, you have a profit on paper from Apple stock. But you haven't gotten the money because you're holding the stock. You think it'll go higher. Government wants to come in and take a percentage of the paper profit. Okay, wealth tax. If Apple then crashes and comes down and not worth as much as that when the government took whatever they're going to take, you don't get a refund. You don't get anything back. If a wealth tax is passed, no one's going to invest in anything. That would just crash the economy, which is what the progressives want. They want the private marketplace, capitalism, to blow up so they can replace it with socialism. This is what it is. Now, I don't know, I can't make it any clearer than that. So there is a Supreme Court case on this. Charles and Kathleen Moore, retired couple from Redmond, Washington, uh, were taxed on a gain they had, an investment they had that they didn't cash in. So they filed a federal lawsuit saying, you can't do that. The Constitution says this, quote, Congress shall have the power to lay and collect taxes on incomes from whatever source derived without apportionment to the several states and without regard to any census or enumeration. The last part of that means that there's no wiggle room, that Congress and the federal government can tax your income, money you receive, real money income. Not that you might receive, that you have on paper. No. Now, this is in front of the Supreme Court. It will be decided next June. My prediction, and we'll get this on tape, is six to three in favor of the Moors, that the government cannot tax unrealized gains. Supreme Court's going to stop it. But the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, a federal court in California and the West, said it's okay. That's why it's at the Supreme Court level. So the Moors lost in the Ninth Circuit because that court out in the West, based in San Francisco, is the most liberal federal court in the history of this country. Do we all have it? If you have any other questions, very important that you understand the big picture here, what the progressives want to do. All right.